Hey, what's up guys? Um, today here on this video, I, I'm doing the VBT delete for my uh, 04 Silverado Project Sir Malo. Um, if you guys seen the previous video, um, you know what's up. If you haven't, you know, try, try to check that video out and then come back to this one. So what I'm trying to do is here is take off this, uh, this whole VBT single bolt um, camshaft. Uh, there, there's a bolt on there. As of right now, I'm using a, five, a 15 16 and uh, it's working. And down here, I'm holding the crank with a with a 24 millimeter. So I'm using what I have. Uh, that sucker was on there pretty tight. Um, so that's what I did. Grab my my bar here for my. Jack. Put that back on there. So this video is just me deleting it. Me just doing this. Um, have I done one of these before? No, that's the truth. So we're gonna figure out what's behind all this magical stuff. We're we're all gonna find out right now. Because I have not done one of these before. So I'm just trying to I'm trying to get an extension on here so I can just so I can twist off faster. Now I do have my uh, the the timing the the sp <laughs> the sprocket a uh, cam sprocket uh, uh, lined up here uh, pointing down it has an arrow on there so you guys that have this ly6 uh and you're going to delete the vbt just you know a, a lot on the forum say you know that arrow's got to point down just like the old school ones where you have to line up the dots you just got to line up those that mark just straight down um if you don't know what straight down is don't don't do that so take it to a shop like I said, I'm not gonna try to do like a how-to and, and all that. I'm just I'm just showing you guys here. What I see is what you guys see. So yeah, that looks pretty damn interesting. Is this like VTech or something? Like oil goes through here? I'll put your guys' comments down below. It's all filled with oil up in here. Damn, I guess so. Let's see, so I'm just gonna move this out of here. I got a tray down here. With all the bolts that I have been taking off. So everything's nice and lined up. Here, I'll be back. What I gotta do next is let's take this damn thing out. I'm just gonna. Just wondering how easy is it to do this? It can't possibly be that easy. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Uh, am I supposed to loosen up these guides? What am I doing? Well, don't do that so so there's your guides right here so chain here chain here I'm just gonna lay it over like so what the fuck? never mind I'm not gonna lay it over like so ah, that works better just make sure when you guys put that back on remind me to put the chain on the bottom, okay guys, that's your guys' job. Just remind me. Damn, this thing this thing is heavy. Check that thing out, guys. Look at that. Freaking thing is that thing's heavy as hell. It's like 20 pounds right here. Work out. Let me put that down. You know what? Let me just move it to the side. Yeah, but you see how it has a timing mark? Right. Yeah. No? Yeah? You guys see it? Yeah, that that was that's pointing down, just straight down. 
It's got a dowel pin right there, so let's make sure we're on that same thing. So top dead center, arrow pointing down. Try to stick to basic, guys. If you guys don't know what you're doing, like I said, take it to a shop. And please, please do not blame me for your guys' issues or if you guys blew up your engine. That's, that's your guys' fault. So you guys get listening to a YouTube video. Um, so these are torques on here. So let me pause this video real quick. Let me get a range real, real quick, guys. All right, guys. Sorry about that pause. So I got this uh, T40. So you guys can see that. So that's what this is right here. They're T40s. <clears throat> I thought that'd be tighter, but let's see. What I'm just doing is loosening, obviously. So those are, they feel pretty loose. So. I just put a quick extension on here. Like I said, just makes it easier to take off. I said easier. Yeah, but if you guys haven't seen my, my other video, check that out. I just do a quick little overview of what's of what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys keep checking out more of my videos on here. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, but but yeah, slowly. Slowly I'm trying to get this done. And what I'm gonna put in here is a 595 lift a cam intake exhaust 112 LSA I'm not gonna like degree it or advance it two degrees nothing like that nothing fancy just just gonna put it in it's just like if it was an original one Ooh. I think I'm gonna need the ratchet again what the I was going to use my uh, my DeWalt here to take these off, but I just, sometimes you want to get a feel for, for the stuff here. Because it's, like I said, it's, it's my first time digging into this block. Everything's looking so far so good. I just hope it turns on once I'm done with it. So I got those. They're no different. I don't think the position matters on them. And this is... This thing looks still pretty damn new. Smells burnt. Sorry guys, I had to pause the video for a quick second. I know it's kind of be choppy here, but I think that pretty much sums up how to delete the VVT. I'm obviously, you know, removing your timing cover. Uh, I, this is a timing cover. You'll, you'll obviously remove your timing cover. You got to remove your harmonic balancer, obviously. There's that actuator thing, this VVT controller. Uh, you know, there's harnesses that plug in. You'll remove all that. I mean, if you guys know what you're doing, if you guys have this engine in front of you, you guys will exactly know what you're doing because you guys are just gonna you're gonna watch the video. You're gonna be like, oh, okay, boom, boom. I get it. I get it. Um, let me get to this part. Uh, this part, you know, remove your timing cover. There's bolts. And then there's two bottom ones on the bottom, uh, 10 millimeters. That's what you need. Um, like I said, I would use a like like one of these DeWalt's so I can remove all that stuff. And so like like I was saying, sorry this this video is all chopped up, but um, <clears throat> see just just getting this access here to remove 
that one. Where the heck did I put it? I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you. To remove this, this 20 pound thing that's, you know, here, just make sure it's just, you know, just, just heading down, pointing down, and, uh, you know, removing that single bolt like I just did in this video. I mean, you, you literally just deleted the VVT. Um, the next part will obviously be taking out the camshaft. Um, you know, I'm gonna show how to do that because I'm gonna I'm gonna use this other technique a lot of people are using versus taking off the heads because I don't want to take off the heads. I don't want to deal with that. So that's gonna be another video me dropping in the cam, uh, avoiding the whole the heads coming off. And we'll get into the whole valve springs. I'll be another video. So keep checking it out. I'm sorry this video is super long and chopped up. I, I really wanted to keep it under 10 minutes. I'm already past. So that's how you delete the VVT. Please like and subscribe. Check me out for the other videos that are coming up. Um, yeah, just keep following in tune with Project Sir, <coughs> Sir Malo. Uh, it's an 04 Silverado. Like I said, check out the other videos and keep in tune, okay guys? We'll see you. Peace.